Yo guys, welcome back to the B3M44K7 channel and today is the final predictions video of the English Football League. So that's champ I've done the Premier League, the Championship and League 1 and this is the League 2 predictions. But before we get into this, I want to thank you guys for all the support on uh, the past couple of episodes. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, also, tell me in the comments what you think. Well, tell me in the comments what league you'd want me to see predict next. But let's get straight into my EFL League 2 predictions. 24th, Barrow. I think Barrow will finish rock bottom of the league and go straight back down into non-league. League 2 will be a hard league to adjust to, especially just coming up after a quite a few years of not being in there. But I don't think they'll manage to survive relegation and I think they'll go straight back down. 23rd, Harrogate Town. I think Harrogate will also go down just coming up from non-league as well. The two non-league teams just coming up, I think, are going to get relegated. I don't think they'll manage to survive in the league, but yet again, this is a hard league to predict. They could turn, they could go on and win the league, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm predicting them to finish 23rd. 22nd, Macclesfield. Macclesfield just surviving uh, relegation this season just gone and that's due to Berry's collapse and finishing 23rd if Berry st didn't if Berry didn't have financial struggles and didn't dissolve then if Berry didn't dissolve in that oh I'm struggling to speak today but anyway Macclesfield won't be in the, the football league they'd be in non-league but I'm predicting them to just survive finishing 22nd 21st, Oldham Athletic. I'm predicting Oldham to finish 21st this season due to 90, they're finishing 19th last season. I think they'll, stru they'll struggle throughout this season but still manage to keep, keep it cool and keep it calm and manage to stay up. But they'll have to work harder next season if they're in order not to get relegated. 20th, Scunthorpe. I think Scunthorpe will stay, finish exactly where they finished that season just gone, 20th. Finishing 20th two seasons in a row, it isn't exactly Scunthorpe levels, but at least they're not getting relegated. But they would want to be contesting to get further up the table. I'm predicting they'll stay exactly where they were. 19th, Cambridge United. I think Cambridge will finish 19th in the league. Maybe even they'll struggle for form. They'll struggle to put in goals. They'll struggle to keep out goals. Pull on too many draws and too many losses. But it won't be enough to get them relegated. And it'll be enough to just keep them up in 19th. 18th, Tranmere Rovers. I'm predicting Tranmere to finish 18th after just coming down from League One. I don't think they'll have enough willpower to get back straight back up. But after, I think they'll struggle a lot, um, especially with the demons of just being relegated. They'll struggle a lot, slip up, and um, finish 18th by the end of the season. 17th, Southend. Uh, oh, Southend also just coming down from League One. I don't, same with Tranmere. I think they'll struggle a lot and not have the willpower, but still finish above Tranmere, finishing 17th. If they play really good football they maybe even could push forward but I don't see them going back up or going down. 16th I'm predicting Newport County. I think Newport County finishing mid-table last season will do it again. This time in more of the lower side of mid-table but still mid-table either way and I think it'll just be another bland season for them. 15th Leighton Orion. Leighton Orion just finishing 17th in the 1920 campaign. So in the 2021 campaign, I'm predicting them to go up the table and finish 15th. It may only be two places up, but it's still it's still progress, even if it is small. But if it, even if it is minuscule and only by a couple of plate positions, it could be it could work out in the long run. And I think this will be a great step forward for them. 14th Salford. I'm predicting Salford to finish 14th. I think they'll they're a good enough team, but I don't think they they're a good enough team to play in League One. But I don't think they'll manage to get there. I don't even think they'll manage to get into the top ten. Finishing 14th won't be a good achievement for them, but it'll be something. It'll be something. They'll still be in League Two, but still and be able to position themselves to get in to League One the season after. 
13th Bolton. I'm predicting Bolton to finish 13th in League 2. I reckon they'll have another struggle season. Finishing bottom of League 1, it wasn't a great season for them. And I don't think this will be a great season for them either in terms of depth. 11th Grimsby Town. As a Lincoln City fan, I don't like that I've put Grimsby 11th. But I think if they were, I think this is where they're going to finish. Uh, they're good enough. I hate saying this, but they're good enough to finish mid-table. No matter how much I want the team to get relegated and go into non-league, they are good enough to finish mid-table and maybe even push to the top ten. It hurts to say this. It it really does. You don't understand the pain, but it it it's, has to be said. They're good enough, but. They're not. They're good, but they're not good enough to get into get promoted. Tenth, Bradford. I think Bradford will finish tenth this season, and maybe that's even. Maybe that's at ma- that's at max lowest. I think around fifteenth, but I'm putting them at max tenth. I think this is the furthest they'll go, um, and they've got a lot of good. They've got some good players in the squad, and if they work hard enough and have enough determination, that's a spot secured for them. Ninth, Colchester. I think Colchester will finish ninth this season. Uh, they'll s- f- battle for it, but they'll miss out on seventh spot, which is where you need to be for the promotion playoff zone, at minimum. Eighth, and just missing out on promotion playoffs is Carlisle United. I'm predicting them to finish eighth because I see them pushing themselves to get into there but just falling short it may even just be by a point or two but i don't think they'll manage to cut uh, make the cut to get into the playoffs seventh morecambe i think morecambe will finish seventh in the league just just a point or two ahead of eighth place finishing seventh would be crucial for this crucial for the club and crucial for the season it would be it would be absolutely amazing if they managed to get there and this is what I'm predicting them to actually get into the playoffs and finish in seventh. Sixth, I'm predicting Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green are a team that have been in League One for a while, but I don't. I think they'll get into the playoffs and potentially get them. Well, they've been in League Two for a while, but I think they'll be able to put, potentially get into League One. But stick around for my playoff predictions at the end of the video. Fifth, I'm predicting Walsall. I think Walsall will finish fifth this season and get themselves just into, uh, well, not just, but fin- into the playoffs. I think fifth would be a comfortable position for them to finish and then they could work on that in the, ex- in the extra games and potentially even try and go up as well. You never know because there's so many teams, four teams and... So the fall each t- every team wants to go up. Nobody, no team wants to go down, which is obvious. But there's only four. There's only four teams that can go up. Three go up automatically, which is the top three. And then there's four teams left to play extra games and work in the playoffs. And that losing at that point would be heartbreaking. Getting to the final and conceding like a 90th minute goal would be heartbreaking for your team, and you won't be able to recover from that. But, yeah, I'm predicting Walsall to finish fifth. Fourth, I'm predicting Port Vale. I think Port Vale will finish fourth this season, just get just missing out on automatic promotion. But it'll still be a great season for the team, and if they manage to go up, it'll be a miracle for them. Third, I'm predicting Crawley Town. I think Crawley will have a great season and finish third and going up to League One automatically. I think they'll just manage to get out of the play- playoff positions and above them, finishing in the top three, not having to play any extra games and not having to potentially suffer any heartbreak. Second, I'm predicting Exeter City. I think Exeter will just fall short of that first place title, and maybe even put, but they'll still be able to go up to League One, which is always a win. Going up, going up into the higher league is always a win, and I think Exeter will be able to do that. First, Mansfield. I think Mansfield will come away with a League Two title this season, and I think they'll do it by by a large by a large amount, maybe ten, fifteen, maybe even twenty points. I think the title race will be it will be a long gone title race, and I think it'll it'll be wrapped up. 
by around 30 games in, maybe, uh, by around, I don't know, 30, within the last 10 games. Within the last 10 games, it'll be wrapped up, I reckon. But let's move on to the playoff predictions. The playoff final, I'm predicting, will be between Forest Green and Morecambe. And coming away in the final, I'm thinking that Morecambe will beat Forest Green Rovers in the final. So, and now I'm going to go over a few announcements, but that's playing. And I'm thinking I'm making an advert. I'm making an advert. Hey, you, stop. Have you subscribed to the B3 and 44K E7 channel? Well, you, if you're saying yes, I know you're fucking lying. I know you're lying. How do I know you're lying? Because 98.9% 90, of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button now. Hit it. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, do it. I, I can tell you've not done it. I'm just going to sit here and wait in uncomfortable silence until you've hit the subscribe button. Don't make me do it, because I will. Uh, I reckon you've done it by now. But, yeah, this is the advert. Be safe, kids. Well, that was a bit shit, but... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe... Turn on post notifications. Um, please go down and comment what league I should do next. If you want me to see me, if you want to see me predict another league, if you want to see me predict another league, put that in the comments below. Also, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below as well. Um, and I may even do a video, ask do a, like a Q and A video. So I don't mind asking me question asking me questions just don't make it anything racist or anything that uh keep the comment section quite clean keep it clean that's what i'm trying to say but thank you guys for watching uh peace out